Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain how to set up the outbound internet connectivity of the virtual machine, which is behind a standard load balancer. So let's start. So when you create a virtual machine in an Azure environment, so by default using the system routes, it can connect to the internet, as you can see here on your screen. So if the virtual machine only has a private IP address, in that case too, it can connect to the internet directly. If it has the public IP address, then the connectivity will be through the public IP address. So the default system routes of the virtual machine allows the internet connectivity. And within the same virtual network, the virtual machine can connect to the internal resources too. But in the real time scenarios, it's not recommended to assign a public IP address to the virtual machine. So let's rule out this option to have a public IP address with a virtual machine. So now the default option is the direct connectivity to the internet and the internal resources connectivity will work as it is. Now there is a different scenario. You have a standard load balancer created in your environment and your virtual machine is a part of the backend pool which is assigned to the standard load balancer. In that case, the traffic coming from the internet will first go to the standard load balancer and the standard load balancer will load balance the traffic onto the virtual machine. So the incoming traffic is all fine. However, the outgoing traffic to the internet will stop working. The reason is because the standard load balancer is secure by default. So the default system routes which sends the traffic from the virtual machine to the internet directly, it's overwritten by standard load balancer. And when the virtual machine sends the outgoing traffic through the standard load balancer, there is no rule defined by default. So the standard load balancer doesn't know what to do with that traffic and it blocks it. So if you have a virtual machine behind a standard load balancer, by default, it can't connect to internet. However, the internal connectivity with the internal resources within a virtual network will still work. The standard load balancer is of two types, internal load balancer and public load balancer. So in the case of internal load balancer, if the traffic is coming from the internet, that means it can't reach to the private IP of standard load balancer and the traffic should be coming through firewall. So that means in your environment, you have a firewall. So either the traffic is coming through firewall or through the internal resources. So the incoming traffic is all fine and it will be distributed by the standard load balancer to the virtual machine. But the outgoing internet traffic is still the problem because the default routes are overwritten and the internal load balancer doesn't know how to send the traffic outside the Azure environment. So in this case, you can create the user defined routes on the virtual machine and send the traffic to the firewall. In the user defined routes, you will provide the next hop as the firewall. So the outbound traffic, which is going through the internet will go through firewall and there will be rules in the firewall that will allow the traffic to the internet. So if you have firewall in place in your environment, so then you can manage the incoming as well as outgoing traffic using the firewall. But if in case you don't have a firewall in place, so that means the traffic from internet is not coming to the internal load balancer. So the internal resources are only connected to internal load balancer and then the traffic is load balanced on the virtual machine. In that case, you have to use the NAT gateway and the NAT gateway will be associated to the subnet where the virtual machine is lying. So automatically the outgoing internet traffic will be routed through NAT gateway. And NAT gateway has its own public IP address. So it does the network address translation and all the private address are translated into the public to the public IP of the NAT gateway. So the internet will see all the traffic coming from NAT gateway. So these are the two options when you're using the internal load balancer. However, if you have a public standard load balancer, so in that case, the incoming traffic is fine because, because the public standard load balancer has a public IP and the incoming traffic from the internet will come through public IP and then the load balancer will distribute the traffic to the virtual machine. However, the default routes are still blocked, but you have to configure an outbound rule where the outgoing traffic coming from the virtual machine to the public IP of the standard load balancer will be routed towards the internet. So that means in case of the public load balancer, either you can use the firewall or if you don't have a firewall in your environment, then you can use the outbound rule on the public standard load balancer for the outgoing internet traffic. 
and this scenario is very important because most of the environment use basic load balancer but now microsoft is retiring basic load balancer so you have to upgrade the basic load balancer into the standard load balancer basic load balancer is not secure by default and as soon as you upgrade from basic load balancer to standard load balancer the internet connectivity on the virtual machine stops by default so if you have a firewall in your environment then you can manage the outbound traffic using the firewall otherwise either use the net gateway or the public ip of the standard load balancer so let me show this third option of using the public standard load balancer in the lab i am logged into azure portal now and i have already created a test vm001 with the operating system of windows server 2022 data center so let me quickly log into this virtual machine so i'll use the best end to log in because, because there is no public ip attached to this virtual machine and i don't have any vpn connection so i'll use the best end to connect to this virtual machine so i'm logged into virtual machine now let me open the microsoft edge and let's open google.com and as you can see by default the internet is working fine so this virtual machine it doesn't have a public ip address it's a part of the virtual network which which is a basic requirement so let's create a standard load balancer where i'll add this virtual machine in the backend pool of that load balancer load balancers create a new load balancer there is one resource group already with the name rg load balancer i'll use that test load balancer 001 so there are multiple options i'll use the standard load balancer i'll create a public load balancer and it's regional because it's a public load balancer i have to create a public ip so test front end 01 let's create a new public ip test the load balancer pip 01 and save next the backend pool let's create a backend pool first test backend 01 virtual network and add the nic card so this is the virtual machine which we have created added and save next create the inbound rules test rule Zero one. The traffic coming to the front end IP address should be load balanced to the back end pool. On port eighty, back end port will be eighty. Create a health probe, test probe. On port eighty and save. So I'm just creating inbound rules. However, I'll not use these inbound rules. I'm just showing that this is how you create a load balancer. So I'll leave this option outbound rule for now and review and create and create. The deployment has started now and I'll pause the video and we'll be back once the deployment is done. Deployment is complete now. Let's go to the load balancer. and there is a front end ip which is a public ip created and in the back end pool there is the test vm which i have created for testing so let's go back to this test vm again close it open microsoft edge google.com and as you can see it's not opening the google.com and so that means the connectivity to the internet is disabled by default when we assign the virtual machine behind a load balancer 
and specifically standard load balancer because in the case of the basic load balancer the internet connectivity still works so now in this option because it's a public load balancer we can use the outbound rules or we can use the net gateway or azure firewall so but in this case i want to show how to set up an outbound rules in the load balancer so let's go to outbound rule add test out bound 01 fronted ip address all protocols select the backend pool and you have to define the source netting so i'm assigning the allocated outbound ports per instance so there are around 63992 ports which can be allocated so add so the outbound rule is created now let's try again and perfect the internet connectivity is working so that means now the outbound traffic to the internet from the virtual machine is going through the load balancer public ip this is not the most recommended way there are better ways where you can use the firewall or the net gateway but if in case you have a very small environment and you want to provide the internet connectivity using the standard load balancer then you can use this way so that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much